But first, 24 hours after a leak from the U.S. Supreme Court, the lines are drawn in a new battle over abortion. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. A draft opinion from the high court may set the stage for a reversal of Roe versus Wade. People took to the streets in cities across the nation to raise their voices, and Detroit is no exception. We won't! Go back. We won't! Go back. We Protesters fearing their rights are in jeopardy mobilized right outside the federal courthouse downtown. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass talked to people on both sides as this decades old debate heats up once again. Well, the protests that happened here outside the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit occurred at courthouses all over the country as Roe v. Wade hangs in the balance. Abortion! Protesters in downtown Detroit marching through the streets, gathering first outside the federal courthouse after a leaked draft opinion from the Supreme Court showed Roe v. Wade would be overturned. I was shocked and numbed all the feelings. It broke my heart because not only does it affect me as a person, it affects every single woman in America. We won't go back. We won't go back. The protest was one of many across the country expressing outrage that abortion could soon be outlawed. Meanwhile, others are thrilled. The pro-life movement in uh, Michigan is really encouraged and excited and um, kind of can't believe that it's actually happening. Anna Visser with Right to Life Michigan says they're cautiously optimistic and says if Roe v. Wade does get overturned, they will fight to uphold a 1931 Michigan law banning abortions in the state. We're going to keep on protecting it and hopefully in the future we can get a constitutional amendment that is pro-life and protects the unborn. Abortion is a human right. As the march went on in Detroit, Michigan doctors from the Committee to Protect Health Care hosted a press conference over Zoom, warning a total abortion ban could have serious consequences. Women used to die as a result of unsafe and illegal criminal abortion. That will return if this abortion ban goes into effect. Keep your rosaries up my ovaries! While the wait for an official decision continues, the battle over public opinion does too. And no matter the outcome in court, that battle likely won't end anytime soon. So we're going to keep continuing to protect this law and to protect the unborn in our state. We are not going to go back. We're not going to stop. This is not the final word. And the nationwide protest was organized by the National Women's March, who says they will continue to plan even larger events in the coming days, weeks, and months. In downtown Detroit, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. A letter bearing the seals of Michigan and 16 other states is calling on Congress to quickly put the protections of Roe versus Wade into federal law tonight. The House passed the Women's Health Protection Act in September. Now it's up to the Senate. Governor Whitmer is among those who signed the letter. The governor saying, quote, this legislation is critical because we are seeing in real time that legal precedent, no matter how old, is not permanent. We want you to stay with 7 Action News on air and online at WXYZ.com as we continue to follow developments in the battle over abortion rights here in America.